the curve has a parametric equation x is equal to t squared plus 1 and y is equal to t cubed plus 2. Find dy by dx and d squared y by dx squared. So basically, they are asking us to find the first and the second derivative. So let's write the function. Now this is called a parametric function or parametric equation. So x is defined with respect to t as t squared plus 1 and y is defined as t cubed plus 2. So first let us differentiate both sides or uh, differentiate with respect to t. So this is how you write. So d by dt of x and this is the derivative operator. So d by dt of t squared plus 1. So d by dt of x is nothing but dx by dt. Now you can distribute this uh, d by dt to t squared and 1. So distributing it. So what is d by dt of t squared? Well, uh, d by dt of t squared is 2t. And d by dt of 1 is 0. So uh, I'm not writing 0. So d by dt of this function, which is of x is 2t. Okay, so yeah, so let me change color. It's really becoming monotonous. So I'm uh, using again the derivative operator d by dt of y is equal to, let me write like this, d by dt of 2t cubed plus d by dt of 2. I could have written the same thing here, but I hope you can understand. So d by dt of y is nothing but dy by dt is equal to d by dt of, three, uh, of t cubed is 3t squared and this is 0. Therefore I can say dy by dt is nothing but 3t squared. Okay, so now the question is you want to find the first derivative. So let me use green uh, red now. So can I say dy by dx is nothing but dy by dt times dt by dx. When you say dy by dt, what you're saying is, what's the infinitesimally small change in y with, uh, with respect to, for a very small change in time, or the parameter t, yeah. It can be time or it can be anything, yeah. We don't know what is the parameter, yeah. So, uh, if if we know that dy by d, sorry, dx by dt is 2t, this implies dt by dx would be 1 over 2t. So, I need dy by dt and I need dt by dx, sorry, dt by, I should have written here, dx, because see what's happening here dy by dx is dy by dt times dt by dx. So this dt and this dt gets cancelled. So basically, this is nothing but dy by dx. Now, what is dy by dt? dy by dt is 3t squared times, what is dt by dx? dx by dt is uh, 2t over 1. So we, say, we, we can say that dt by dx is 1 over 2t. So in place of dt by dx, I can put 1 over 2t. So I can write 1 over 2t. And that, if you simplify, this is over 1, which is 3t squared over 2t, which is 3 over 2t. So let me rewrite. Therefore, dy by dx is 3 over 2t. Or we can also write this is 1.5. Okay, now the next part is you want to find the second derivative. Now for the second derivative is a bit tricky, so let me use a different color. So the second derivative is d squared y by dx squared. Now this is a difficult notation to understand. This is nothing but d by dx of dy by dx. d by dx of d by dx of dy by dx. 
So this is the second derivative. That means you find the gradient of the gradient function. This is the first derivative and this is the second derivative. So d by dx of dx dy by dx is d squared y by dx squared. Now this is same as writing d by dt of dy by dx. Okay, now what should I write? Times. I have, I have written a dt here. But if I want to get, get rid of this dt, I have to write it dt. Uh, sorry, dt I should write. This is dt by dx. I hope you can see. See, d by dx of dy by dx d by dx of dy by dx is d by dt of dy by dx times dt by dx. So, see this dt and this dt is gets cancelled. So, what is left over? d by dx of dy by dx. That's what we started with, d by dx of dy by dx. So, you if you place a, a differential dt here, you multiply it by dt here so these dt's gets cancelled so when you say d i hope you know that these are all fractions okay so let me bring back my yellow color so this is d by dt of what is dy by dx dy by dx is 3 over 2 t now the reason we we write d by dt is dy by dx is in terms of dt so you can differentiate this with respect to t. That's why we started with d by dt. But here the problem is you don't have a dt here. So you write a dt here. And to take cancel that dt, you put a dt here. I hope uh, I've not confused you more. Now again, we know what is dt by dx. dt by dx is 1 over 2t. So I can write 1 over 2t here. Okay. So now d by dt of 3 over 2t is nothing but 3 over 2. Means this is the gradient. So the gradient would be 3 over 2 times 1 over 2t. So I can say therefore d squared y by dx squared in terms of t would be 3. Let me remove this negative. looks like negative. This is 3 over 4t. So this is the second derivative in terms of t.